Sports and welcome to the Premier League. Um, as you know, we had a very good season last year and got promoted to the Premiership from the Championship, uh, winning the league with 105 points. Um, as you can see, I've already started the season and we're doing very well, surprisingly. I mean, we were expecting to be here. I was expecting to battle for relegation. I'm sure it will happen. Uh, throughout the season uh, this is what we've done so far we've had a uh, decent running friendlies although they're all lower teams than us and uh, no premier league rivals there um we have lost our first season against uh, game of the season against burnley uh, bournemouth sorry and then man city we decided to go and beat them uh 2-1 uh, clover and uh, re-signing Michael Powell on loan, uh, getting the goal. We then uh, beat Brighton 3-0 with Michael Powell getting a hat-trick. Uh, so we're doing very well in terms of that. Now let's just have a quick look at the transfers. Obviously being Premier League, we get the big Premier League money. And uh, Mario Boy, we've decided to bring in from Vitaze. Um, he's looking to be a nice prospect. So we brought him in. He's currently injured, actually, unfortunately. Uh, but that's just one of them. Um, we brought in quite a few players, to be fair. Um, I mean, this guy we actually brought in on a Bosman deal and then sold him for seven million for some profit, which is a bit cheeky, and I know it's kind of an exploit, but that's what we do here. Um, Emmanuel Jara, we also brought in. He's looking to be a good player in the future, so uh, we've brought him in nicely. Um, and then all the players that decided I wanted rid of. Uh, Daniel Carroll, he's a gone to Norwich after his only nine games for the club, so he probably won't even get a Wikipedia page. Raj Jowski has finally left. Um, Four million to Austria, Vienna. So uh, that's where he's gone. Along with Oscar Schoenfelder, he followed him suit after many, many games for the club. Um, and uh, he had a very good season last year, and I kind of wanted to give him it, but a decent offer came in for him, so I thought I'd let him go. Kai Kennedy again, another player that I wanted to give a premiership game to, uh, but Hearts came in with a £2.5 million bid, so I couldn't really say no. Um, Finley Mitchell, who is a youngster that uh, played for our youth squad, I gave a contract, realised he was crap, and decided to sell for somehow 700 k uh, So that's one of them. Uh, there's plenty of players here that we've brought in... Um, who um, we're going to see for the future. Fetchy, I mean, he's he, you'll be seeing him play today um, in the Carabao Cup. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm not exactly sure. He doesn't look too promising. This McClear guy looks to be okay. Could be fairly solid. Uh, so we'll see how that goes in the end. Obviously, you know, Mkhitaryan's left. Patrick Healy, um, another player who seems to be okay. A lot of Scottish players that we managed to bring in. Um, Monty, also very similar there. Um, we've uh, released Kyle Slater graduation, Finley Mitchell, but we've obviously sacked him off, and then a few players out on loan so not a huge um, influx, but it was decent to be fair, we managed to sell some players as well, but we've now got the Carabao Cup game today against Tranmere so let's have a look at the team, what we've got up to, uh, we've got Tierney Matarazzo, Savarino, Cesarini Robertson at left back, Benedetto Mercado, Cavallo Fetchy, Guyana, and Greenwood. It might be the first time you've actually seen two strikers for us, uh, but this is how it's going to go. Let's get onto the game straight away and see how we do. Obviously, 9.5 thousand people here today at Tranmere, which is probably a decent uh, decent appearance for the lads. They're uh, in uh, League 2, so they uh, don't get too many players about. Uh, two strikers up top, though, today for us. So hopefully we can make the most of that and try to get them to score between them. Although we don't have Carroll or Von Schrotter up top. So it's one of them. We'll see how we do. Uh, but we're looking like we're getting most of the ball at the moment. Let's just hope we can convert some into some goals. As Cavallo gets a chance. And uh, Greenwood manages to get the layoff. And he just about gets the rebound. And it goes top bins. Nice goal for Mason Greenwood there to open up the scoring. As Tranmere get a chance here. Davies is going to whip it in to Wahoo. Uh, Wabo, I think it was, who was in the middle, all on his own, a defence absolutely nowhere, which is very, very disappointing from the Gateshead defence. Uh, we should be doing a lot better than that. That's their first shot and first goal, uh, which isn't good enough, to be honest. We should be doing way better than that. Um, but we're looking here. Cavallo's got it on the edge of the box, plays it into Mercado, who hopefully will pick up Greenwood in the middle, unfortunately just puts it into their goalkeeper's hands. But at least we're getting more chances. We need to capitalise on this and try and get more goals, to be honest. Um, of where we are at the moment um, although they've had a chance there Tierney's had to make a save um, unfortunately 
uh, these lot are getting into it a little bit more than I want them to. Uh, but in the end, we managed to get another goal there. Nice ball through there from, I'm not sure who it was, but Mason Greenwood gets into it at the end. And it's a 2-1 in under half an hour so far. And it's 3-1 now as well. It's still under half an hour. Cavallo getting the goal there. This is what we're wanting to try just hopefully demoralise some teams, especially lower down. We need to try to get as far, far as we can. Um, as Guyana now gets a chance, and it's now 4-1. Guyana is a scorer, which is good to see him get on the t uh, score sheet. Seeing as he spent a lot of last season now uh, injured, um, so it's nice to see him get some goals uh, overall in the long term, uh, which is good. Let's get on to this game now. Uh, nine shots and eight on target, so uh, four goals from that isn't too bad. We want to try and look at getting some more, to be honest, as Guyana gets another chance, but the keeper's made a nice save there. We're going to do our first substitution, I think, of the game um, just around about now. Uh, we might as well get it done. Let's just see if there's anyone on the red. No, they're not. Um, Guyana to come off now. Uh, we will bring on uh, Lodi. We'll keep him as a poacher, which apparently he is nowadays. Uh, that has changed, to be fair. Um, let's just get the next sub going. Uh, let's see how this goes indeed. Jones, one of their players, is get sent off. Uh, so hopefully we can make the most of that. I'm not exactly sure what position this lad is in. Uh, but we managed to get a free kick as Greenwood lines up a free kick. McArdle to come off now. Uh, what we'll do is we'll bring on this lad called Jara, uh, advanced playmaker as well. So we'll let him have a game. Uh, Greenwood puts it in and he puts it straight into the corner. It's a hat-trick for Mason Greenwood today at Tranmere Rovers, playing very well indeed. Um, unfortunately, Tranmere unable to do an upset after their 1-1 equaliser, uh, but it's one of them for the lads. We will get Mason Greenwood a round of applause to walk off the pitch. Um, let's bring on Nesbitt and uh, we'll bring on Cavallo up top. Um, just do a quick straight switch. Uh, Vecchi is going to whip it in now for Cavallo. Unfortunately, just puts it wide of the post. Uh, but it's a very, very good performance so far from the lads. 72 minutes played. So still plenty to go if we can get another goal. As I say, that tram may get a chance. Um, but it's one of them that unfortunately didn't capitalise for them. Nesbitt gets a chance, but it's another good save by their goalkeeper. Um, he's To be fair, it could be 8-9-1 eight, eight here. Um, but the keeper's trying to keep it in, which is a very good effort from him. Cavallo gets another chance but puts it wide. I think they're all trying to get on the scoreboard here, as that is proven, and they managed to get another one back. It's now 5-2. The defence not holding out very well. All they have to do is bloody stop them scoring, uh, scoring, but that is the scorer there. I'm not bloody saying that name. Uh, but that's uh, what the final result, I think, will be. I don't think there'll be any more chances. Um, it doesn't look like there's going to be 5-2 uh, away from home at Tranmere Rovers. Fair enough from Gateshead. Um, to playing very well. Uh, obviously, this is going to be our 12th season, I think, now. So we're getting far into this. I need to try to get this done as quick as possible um, as FM20 is uh, 21 is going to be running down our necks very soon. Um, so obviously we get round to the next round and we'll see how we uh, do and who we get put up against in that. But obviously the next match will be a league game. I'll show you our first uh, league game for you in the Premier Division against Everton it's going to be. So I will be right back. Hello guys and welcome back. Today we have Everton in the Premier League. Uh, let's see how we get on here. Obviously away. Um, as you know, we just beat Tramir 5-2. Um, so let's see how we get on in this uh, game here. We've got Mertens, Glombotsky, Vera, uh, McClear, Main, Benedetto, Toral, Cavallo, Cloyver, Powell and Von Trotter. Again going with a 4-4-2 this episode. I mean, it might change again later on, but we'll see. Uh, this bench, let's get going and see how this thing goes. Um... 40,000 people, well, nearly 40,000 people here at uh, Goodwood Park, so uh, we're doing okay in terms of that. Goodison Park, sorry, not Goodwood. Goodison Park, thinking of uh, motor racing there. Um, it goes wide there uh, from a Everton chance. Um, not really, Realistically, we shouldn't really be beating these, but we'll see what we can do. I mean, we beat City this season, so anything can happen. But as I say that, Everton get the breakthrough. I'm not exactly sure who that is. I think it's Bowden. Bowden got the goal there. Um, and who's Bowden? 
Farid Bowden, apparently. And they've also got Erling Haaland, who's supposed to be a young prospect that's coming in the making in real life. Um, whether he's stuck at Everton for some reason, I'm not sure why. Um, but hopefully he comes to better things than that in real life. N- no offence to any Everton fans. I'm a Liverpool fan, so kind of shh. But yeah, it's um, it's one of them. We're not looking too good, actually, here. We need to get some shots on target, especially with two strikers. This isn't looking too nice. Um, we really need to get it going, to be honest. Uh, it's getting a bit disappointing, this. Von Schroeder has a strike and it just goes over the Everton goalpost so at least we're getting some shots in now we just need to do a little bit better uh, just to push forward and see uh, where we are at at this point it looks like they're going to get a foul now uh, Mertens goes down well for it apparently he makes a save there I'm not sure exactly what happened I thought we were going to get a foul against us then when the glitch occurs um, but there's been a yellow card free kick awarded to us I think uh, but I'm not exactly sure what's happened as Haaland gets his chances as I was slagging him off before he puts one past Mertens who is probably our best player uh, in the club at the moment so uh, hopefully he'll be able to keep us up I mean I was expecting to drop it's just a bit annoying after uh, after a win against City that you're losing 2-0 to Everton I mean I don't know exactly know how good Everton are at the moment um, but hopefully then just shouldn't be as good as um, we're making them out to be here. Only been able to have one shot on target, which is a bit disappointing. Um, Powell now to come off. I think what we'll do is... Oh, go on. Greenwood played well, actually. Um, we can't have two poachers, can we? Why is everyone turning into a poacher? Right, we'll go advance forward. That'll do there. We can't have two poachers. It doesn't work. So we will do the... Oh, bugger. I does manage to score, make it 3-0. Um, that's a bit of a ball ache. Nice strike from Ida, apparently. Um, so we need to do the last two substitutions and maybe mix it up a little bit just to get some more creativity in the middle. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll bring on Quazira and also who else to take off? Benedetto also needs to come off, to be honest. Uh, we'll bring on Nesbit. Nesbit can go there. Um... What are we going to do? Like that, like that, and like that. Greenwood can be an inside forward, Nesbitt can be an advanced playmaker, and Cavallo can stay as a, that. And he must be just a central mid. Let's see how that goes for the last 20 minutes. It'd be nice to get a goal, but you know what it's like. Uh, Von Schrott is going to whip it into Cavallo, who gets it... Oh, Tries to put it top bins, but it's a good save from the Everton goalkeeper. I think that sums up our day, really. A 3-0 loss to the team here. Unfortunately, that's what we're going to go away with here. Um, but it's more of a realistic result, to be honest. Merton's not having a good game. Um, but it's going to be one of them seasons, I think. Although they were below us, which is a bit disappointing. But We're still on six points. I always say in the Premiership, if you get more than 38 points, you will stay in the league. So that's what we're going to aim for. Um, just try our best to stay up, um, seeing as we don't have the greatest team in the world. As um, Ronaldo de Silva Ferreira has been injured. I presume he's in the reserve still. So, it's just one of them. But yes, I don't know what I'm going to show you next, to be honest. I mean, I could show you the Millwall game, but I just want to try to fly this through this as possible, so it will not be the Millwall game. Depending on how we do in the Millwall game, I might show you the next Carabao Cup game. If we get knocked out by Millwall, I'm not going to show you the next Carabao Cup game. And I might take you all the way to the FA Cup just to get it going because I really need to get the season done or series done. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.